Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo technical developer in this video uh, I am going to start Odoo website development uh, so that uh, in Odoo 13 uh, and in this video we are just going to discuss about the controller and how to display data using controller so controllers uh, interprets browser request and send data back uh, to uh, the models so uh, controllers are like uh, similar somehow similar with the models uh, uh, but it does not uh, it ha does not has the same uh, mechanism uh, like uh, in when we defined an Odoo model we have uh, the class name and the model name like uh, let me show you here so we have the class name and we define the model uh, using the models uh, class and then we uh, define the name and then uh, we description and then the other attributes but uh, in case of controller it is a bit different uh, we have uh, to add uh, the name the class and the class uh, is uh, the class is defined by providing uh, by inheriting uh, the controller like uh, odoo.http.controller and then you will have to use the root attribute uh, to add the url to add the uh, page url okay and uh, let me just show you how we can do it first of all we will have to we have already developed this module and if you uh, if you don't know how to develop a module in Odoo, just uh, go to our youtube channel Odoo discussion and you will find uh, Odoo 13 technical course so you can follow that uh, 30 technical course to uh, learn about how to do development in Odoo at the back end but this course is uh, but this course is about a website development so here uh, we will uh, create a new directory controller controllers and inside this uh, directory we will have to create init file uh, init.py and then we need to create a file controllers okay like uh, controllers okay and inside the controller what we need to do is uh, to uh, import this one uh, from Odoo import HTTP okay and then we need to uh, define the controller class uh you can say uh Udo academy and here um like in Udo backend we use uh models dot model but in this case we will use um http dot http dot controller like this and then uh, and then uh, we will have to uh, define the method uh, you know, with the name I like uh, to move like to show the data and to uh, add uh, the root and to add the path uh, for that um, to display the data so for this purpose what we uh, will have to add is um, to define at the rate and then a root uh, decorator and then inside the root we will have to add uh, the we will have to pass the parameter uh, like to display the data on the page so for example we will add here uh, academy okay and like this and then we need to define a method define index okay and we need to pass here a two parameter self and then this one and then here uh, we will have to return the data like uh, return so whatever we will return here it will be displayed uh, in the page like hello world so first program okay and here we need to add uh, HTTP dot root. Okay. 
like this and then we need to add this uh, inside the we will have to import it in uh, under, in the init file so from dot import controllers and then we need to add this controller uh, here in the outer init like here okay from dot import controllers like this and then we start Odoo servers okay and then open the browser inside the browser what we will have to do is to um, add local host and then port number and then slash and then here we will add academy okay and then forward slash hit enter so we got an error academy let me see what we have added wrong no attribute controller so we can see http it is http dot controller okay so we have done a mistake here it should be capital C like this let me restart it and then refresh the page again so we got again the error what is the error now um, it is index uh, like this okay so we have um, to add uh, authentication like uh, it uh, should be public so that everyone can access it the website is like uh, for everyone so every uh, no one can access it publicly so refresh it and we got another error uh, like what is the error now it is uh, not equal to root to get me controller the next cell dot return the word it is fine and from all import it should be Okay, let me do one thing. We need to update the module. So, we need to upgrade the module first. okay so we uh i got the uh, error i i got what the error was actually we are uh, we have currently multiple databases uh, on this uh, system so therefore we were logged out and we uh, and the system was not able to uh, get the correct database name so in order to resolve this issue what we will have to do is to uh, add the database name uh, here uh, in order to uh, resolve the issue but uh, like this so you will have to add the AD parameter and then the database name so let me check what the database name has is here in this case so let me log in here and it is uh, let me activate the debug mode 
So it is auto discussion. So let me add auto discussion like this. Apply and then restart. So once uh, we can do this, then we can easily access it uh, in the private window also. So localhost and then uh, academy. and hit enter so we will get uh so let me check the log okay so we i think it is creating a new database so let me check uh it is Udo discussion okay so the name is not correct it is Udo. here it is you so let me try to just start again and let me show you again so here you can see hello world it has been uh, the data is displayed here whatever we have added here in the controller it has been displayed so if you want to display it on some other page like academy and um, something like academy subjects okay so then we will have to copy it restart the service and then uh, go here and just update the URL like this and hit enter so it will display like this and here you can hello world here are the available subjects so restart for the service refresh it so here uh, are the available subjects so this text is uh, no you can see the text here uh, that is displayed and it is uh, displayed through the controller so this is how the controller works and this is how we can define a simple controller so in the next video we will discuss about it in more detail like uh, we will discuss how to display the data using our uh, templates we will uh, uh, we will add a simple template and we will use that template to uh, to display the data on uh, the Udo. And uh, if you uh, if you want to uh, get the updates of the upcoming videos, please uh, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to uh, click the bell icon. Uh, then you will be able to get the updates of the upcoming videos. Thank you.